everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Taylor. If you're new here, welcome. We are actually going to be diving into part two of my Coastal Cowgirl series. If you haven't already seen my first video, I kind of just walk through what this trend is all about, the difference between Western Cowgirl, the difference between Coastal Grandmother and Coastal Cowgirl. So if you haven't seen that yet, I definitely suggest watching that before you watch this video because in this video, I'm going to be building out outfits, telling you guys all the pieces that I purchased and where I got everything from. I want to mention all of the things that you might already have in your closet so that way you don't have to go on like a huge shopping spree to purchase all these fits. If you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm really into short form TikTok video content as well but I feel like YouTube is really my home. All right let's dive in. This first outfit is definitely more on the basic side. I just paired my favorite white boots from Dolce Vita. These are tall cowgirl boots. I will link everything that I talk about in this video below. This dress is actually from TJ Maxx. I believe I found this at TJ Maxx a couple months ago and it was pretty reasonable. It was around 30 or $40. There are so many dresses out there. I feel like this is the aesthetic of the coastal cowgirl. It's just like a baby doll puffer dress with some tall cowgirl boots, you're golden. For this next outfit, I actually got this skirt from Hollister. It is the perfect skirt for that coastal vibe. It's just a linen ruffle long skirt. I paired it with a simple black tube top that I believe I purchased from ASOS. And then these little booties are also from Dolce Vita. I honestly think all the shoes I mentioned in this video are from Dolce Vita because I actually won a giveaway with them a few months back and they sent me a bunch of cowgirl boots. So I haven't really had to purchase any or try out any other brands, but I will link a few other options that I've been eyeing in the description below. This outfit, I really just paired it with some simple little black short cowgirl boots. These have little studs on them. And as you're gonna see, a common theme in this video is that I am a very minimal, simple dresser. I rarely wear things that are flashy or like have a brand or logo on it. So many of these things, yes, you can purchase them from directly where I got them, but they're very simple, basic pieces that you might already have in your closet. Right after I filmed that first video, I actually purchased this shrug from Cotton On. It is a crochet shrug. It's so cute, so trendy. And I did end up pairing it with just a basic tube top from Old Navy. Old Navy is really being slept on. They have so many cute basic pieces and these tube tops have a built-in bra, which is such an awesome bonus. So I just paired it with that and then I also paired it with some mid-thigh jean shorts. I have two shorts that I've absolutely been obsessing over. I feel like mid-thigh are definitely more like the jorts and over sized feel. I'm gonna show you another pair of shorts that I'm absolutely obsessed with from Abercrombie and & Fitch. And I just paired this with the same style boots that I showed previously. These are the beige version from Dolce Vita. Something a little bit more on the Western vibe is grabbing just like a beer tee or a graphic tee. I actually got this one from Target with some long jean shorts. You can tie it up in the back. You can make it a crop top and a Western style belt. I love this belt so much. I actually got it from ASOS. Free People also has really great options for Western style belts. You could pair this either way with some tall cowgirl boots or even the mule. So really whatever you're feeling. I think this is definitely more like of that tomboy look versus like that girly girl coastal baby doll feel. This one gives off like beach vibes. I'm so seeing this with like a bikini underneath. Maybe this is the outfit that you wear to the beach. Next is just this dress right here. I actually wore this this year on Mother's Day and paired it with those same tan beige booties. I'm not even kidding. On the tag, it said that this was a beach cover-up, but I might wear it with a bikini. I think that would also be a very cute coastal vibe moment. I think that polo style is actually a little bit more like the coastal grandmother trend, more like Nantucket vibes, but bringing in the cowgirl boots definitely gives it that Western flair. This is so beyond cute. I love the sleeves. They're like bell-bottom sleeves. Literally so cute and so comfy. I did purchase this from Marshalls, but they do have it on the Anya website. Obviously, when I got it from Marshalls, it was retailing for a lot less than what it's selling for online. Then something a little bit more Western. I felt like I had to bring in a vest into this styling video. I honestly didn't think I was going to purchase a vest to wear. I really like the look of a vest. I like that Pinterest style aesthetic, but I came across this one because I thought it was perfect for this trend. It kind of has a linen feel, but it is like beige, off-white, almost eggshell color. The buttons are adorable, just cute little details. Just paired it with those Abercrombie jean shorts. I will definitely link these for you guys. I believe these are the mom style short and I 
I just love how like clean cut they look. They hug you in all the right places, but they're also just a little bit baggy enough where they're not like tight jean shorts. And then again, just paired this with the white cowgirl boots from Dolce Vita. I didn't put this in the video because I actually don't own one of these skirts yet, but all those like asymmetrical midi or longer jean skirts that are going around, I think this would look so cute with the vest. I think it would just tie the whole look together with some cowgirl boots, maybe a little bit of an opening so you can see more leg. For my previous video, I did mention one from Mango and you guys have been purchasing it, so I'm curious. If you're coming from that previous video and you bought the skirt, let me know how you like it. Another simple outfit is just this t-shirt style dress. It actually is a little bit longer. It's more on the maxi side, but I know that t-shirt dresses literally can be found everywhere. You could even wear an oversized baggy t-shirt with some shorts underneath it or some biker shorts and pair it with some cowgirl boots. I just paired it with the small little black boots that I have. Something that I didn't do in this video that I think you definitely could do to kind of flare up the style is wear a cowgirl hat. I don't own one. I don't own one yet. I feel like where I live, if I just walked around in a cowgirl hat, it would be very questionable. There will be a day that I find a cowgirl hat that like properly fits my head and my face shape, but this outfit in particular I can so see like a nice woven cowgirl hat on top. I wanted to mention an outfit that's a little less on the cowgirl aesthetic, more so like coastal casual vibes. As I mentioned in my previous video, if you're not feeling too bold and you don't want to whip out some cowgirl boots or you don't feel like spending the money on them, I think the perfect shoe to purchase instead is actually a pointed toe mule. These ones are also from Dolce Vita, so I paired it with just that simple black tube top some jean shorts, and then a little crochet cover-up on top. I'm obsessed with this crochet cover-up. I wore it literally all last summer and it's just going to get reworn a bunch this year. Clogs are definitely giving that like Western flair vibe and then I feel like this crochet cover-up is that coastal vibe. So it's like a healthy mix of right in between. You're not going too much on either end. <laughs> This next outfit is definitely a little bit more cutesy, a bold color. I think these dresses are perfect and you can really find them anywhere. I believe I purchased this one from TJ Maxx, but I think that the ruffles at the top definitely give that like coastal cute girl vibe. And then of course pairing it with some white cowgirl boots. I think finding a dress like this is perfect because there's so many different details. It's very simple, but it has a little bit of a flare. It's got the tied shoulders. And if you want to be like all Taylor Swift on them, then like pair some red lipstick with that. You're, you're good. I am so excited to wear this dress in particular literally all summer. I have it in white and black. It's from Hollister. It's a little bit off the shoulder and it has built-in shorts. Like that is the girl with the long torso's dream. Literally my dream. I got this in the long version because again, I have a long torso so I need something that looks a little bit longer. This to me is just pulling all coastal cowgirl. You have the western style tan boots. You got this cute little baby doll dress. Literally the aesthetic wrapped in one. <laughs> And lastly, I think I'm gonna wear this outfit on 4th of July this year. I found this little tank top from Target. It's just a USA kind of like baby tee with jean shorts, western style belt, and some boots. I think too, if you found something like that crochet cover up, I'm gonna try to find some for you guys. That is something that you guys can just layer over anything and really pull together that coastal feel. And then you get your boots and mules and you're, you're golden. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more coastal style cowgirl videos from me, let me know in the comments down below. I can definitely make another styling video. This one was more so on like the basic side. I wanted you guys to see things that you might already own in your closet that you can just pull out and put a look together. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on my other social media channels and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!